came here giving myself a last shot at a good education, you know, at really learning um, something worthwhile, at, at loving to learn. I have really fallen in love with what every professor has taught and the way they've taught us. When I look back on the year that has gone by, uh, be it the ELM where I worked with the Minister of Rural Development in Andhra Pradesh trying to set up a venture capital fund for micro enterprises, or be it multiple other team projects that we took on various subjects, I feel that they have added a certain breadth and depth in my knowledge base which I can take back and successfully use to make a significant impact in whatever I do. Ninety-seven fellows, almost twice the size of the founding batch, are setting out today to claim their dreams and to shape their worlds. There is a sense in which you, you are a generation that will have to create your own icons, your own role models, your own authority structures. You have this extraordinary privilege of actually being able to rethink India anew. We are very proud of this current batch of fellows. I am especially gratified at the wonderful young and men and women you've turned out to be. Our success has been made possible so far by you and what you've done. Everything for me would relate back to a book I had read, to a theorist that I had studied, or, or some, some concepts that I had studied. So I constantly found my understanding becoming more and more strengthened. We got to pick up a lot of interesting skills, like for example, I learned how to edit films. It's an education which is, which is an education for life, not an education to pursue a profession, not an education to, for a job, but, but an education about how to think, an education about, about own individual choices, about so many things which, which I'm exceptionally grateful that I got this opportunity. When I saw the people that were involved with the program, uh, and, and looked at some of the testimonials of even the first year uh, students, uh, it, it dawned on us that this is probably something that will uh, really round out Rishi's life. We increasingly realize that he's learning as much from the huge diversity of the friends that he has at YIF. The pure interaction was great. There was always so much music happening, so much uh, creativity coming across uh, from every room that I went to in the hostel. I, I thought uh, the program has done a great job in, bring, in terms of bringing together a lot of interesting people. It gave me a year to kind of grow as a person gave me time, which work doesn't do, which general academics don't do. As a mentor I've found in the last uh, couple of years, it's really been about helping them face the pains of growing up and becoming themselves and having the confidence to be who they are. That YF play is so close to my heart and um, I'm going to miss every, every single person here. look at my background from other perspectives, from other disciplines and then come up with one cohesive and one harmonious understanding and sort of combine all these disciplines and, and do something that was not just academic but also socially relevant. They have an ability that they can see the world in a multi-dimensional way and I think that particular quality is something that they have, uh, that they have gained from the Young India Fellowship Program. I think it has changed many of them uh, forever and it's lovely to see how excited they are and to see what you know spirit they bring to all the new things that they're going to be doing. You are our leverage, you are our multiplier, you are the ones who have to go out and impact many others. I hope you will keep this notion of being a multiplier always in your heads. So you go out with tremendous responsibility and perhaps a big burden that you carry on your shoulders. But if you do not carry it, 
who will you have already had the opportunity to as it were build that new india just by being through yif and i hope the future of india will be written by not just yif but many more yifs to come